Hi, I'm Terry Collette, and I manage the Academy of Lifelong Learning here at Shell Point. Bruce Findlay is one of our longtime instructors who <laughs> has been bringing technology right into our awareness and then teaching us how to use the newest things. And today we're here to talk about the newest things with Bruce. Thank you for joining me, Bruce. Certainly. I love how you love technology. Well, you made it sound like I um, uh, have been here a long time, and I just started <laughs> my 15th year, so, um, so technology has come a long way. It sure has, and it's come a long way for me personally and for many of our residents here whose lives have actually really been changed by your teaching of the new technology, and I want to jump right into the Apple Watch because it is amazing to me what this device can do to help people. The Apple Watch um, is, is good in that it serves better function than Lifeline or Life Alert or things. You can uh, do emergency calls to 911. You can monitor heart rates. You can do things that help you um, exercise or you can keep track of the number of steps or it even reminds you once an hour if you haven't stood up to stand. All of us need to stand. All of us need to have some activity. It doesn't matter what our physical health is, this can help make a better life and improve day-to-day -day living. Well, when you first started telling me about all the advantages, because you had to win me over, all the advantages of this Apple Watch, it seemed to me that we look at watch as telling time, but this helps us really watch our lives, doesn't it? This, the watch helps, at minimum it helps tell time. It also helps in time management. You can set alarms, you can set yeah. reminders, you can tell your watch to add peanut butter to your shopping list, <laughs> you can um, say, call Emily, Emily's my dear wife. It helps in daily things. Apple says it's the most personal device they've ever made, and it is because it tends to be with you all the time. And it's now um, uh, helpful in ways that even if you travel, uh, you could be in Mexico, you could be in Italy, you could trip over something and fall and you need to call nine, the equivalent of 911 in Italy and you could push and hold a button and it will call emergency services globally. That's so a so lot of different things, but you don't have to do all of it. This does not have to be complicated. This can do nothing more than tell time if that's what you want. And that's the wonderful part, uh, not only about how technology is getting more personal across the board, but mm -hmm. the wonderful part is how you teach. Not the big picture all at once, here it is, folks, mm -hmm. but here's how it starts, and this, it'll do more and more and more for you, which leads to the next, slightly less personal, but a lot of people, I think, must sleep with their iPhones because it seems like you get instant response immediately, um, you know, <laughs> for everything. But there's a good reason for that because iPhones now can do so many things to help us also besides just be a phone where you call somebody. Well, the iPhone has more computing power in it than the PC had in it for probably the first 15 or 20 years of its life. So this is not, this is not a simple uh, phone. It's also gotten to the point where the iPhone can be made simpler to use than, for instance, a jitterbug. I used to teach classes on the jitterbug. Right. You used to have a jitterbug, I believe. And it's now to the point where the functionality of the iPhone can be used to make it simple. So I have people who are changing from flip phones or from early phones, and they basically said no, no, no to a smartphone. Uh -huh. And we clear things off. We get a simple working environment. And they are happy as can be. They can push a button and they can say, call home. They can push a button and they can um, ask for something else. So it does not have to be complicated. And I think the people at Shell Point are understanding that, appreciating it, and they are reacting well. Great point. Because if we can start out with a device that ha offers multiple complexities, mm -hmm. but we can get to know it on a simple basis, then gradually we can add another feature and another feature and another yes. feature. This is not, this does not have to be overwhelming. It should not be overwhelming. Exactly. This is not rocket science. And 
you, if, if you just start to learn a couple things, like how to put in a name and address right. um, in contacts, and then how to use it to send a text message. We have people, we have Shell Point residents, numbers and numbers of Shell Point residents that have better relationships with their grandchildren because of texting. And they used to say, no, no, no texting. Right. Um, and now they see how easy it is. Even uh -huh. Terry Kolath texts. Exactly, exactly. Okay, then a little bit less personal, actually across the room, is uh -huh. the new Apple TV. Uh -huh. The Apple TV is not a television. It is a little square box, and it attaches to your television on one hand, and on the other hand, it attaches to your Wi-Fi. So it brings things relating to television beyond Shell Point Cable. So Shell Point Cable is wonderful. Shell Point Cable is free. Shell Point Cable has 110 plus channels. It has some music. But there are times that you want to watch 60 Minutes and you aren't there at 7 o'clock on CBS and you want to watch it another time. Now, Apple TV does not record television, live television, to watch it another time. It brings television content streaming from the internet to your television and this adds a dimension that Showpoint TV doesn't have and it works hand in hand with Showpoint TV so you don't have to say you don't have to cut the cable and get rid of Showpoint TV it just brings a lot of new things like you do all right I encourage you to pick up your latest <laughs> Academy brochure Turn to page 73 and start reading. Right off the bat, security options for the Apple iPad and iPhone. Who doesn't want to know more about that? Keep going through the iPhone classes and the Apple Watch classes and the new Apple TV classes and take advantage of what Bruce Findlay of Sundial brings to us in his classes.